Okay, good morning. Uh, my name is Brad Sieve. I am a professor here at Northern Kentucky University, and I am normally the one behind the cameras. But today I thought I would come out from behind the cameras and show you a demonstration with the conductivity of water and what happens to that conductivity when you freeze the water. So first, in this little tray here, we have distilled water, and that has had all the ions removed, so it should be non-conductive. Now, to measure this, we have two different setups. We have over here the conductivity detector that we showed you how to make in another video. This just simply has a LED light bulb that lights up when it's, the solution is conductive. And then we also have a digital meter here uh, from the Vernier company to give us an actual number value. So, to test it first, we'll put in the digital probe into it and see what it says. and it's reading about 6 micro s per centimeter. So not very high conductivity at all. And if we place the, the LED probe in it, it does not light up at all. Okay, so this water is non-conductive, um, and that's because the ions have been removed from it. You need to have ions in your water so that it's conductive. So to make it conductive, what we can do is just add a little bit of salt. This is just normal table salt. Um, and we'll just sprinkle some of it in. I'll put a little bit in my hand here and then sprinkle some in. Give it a second to dissolve. Kind of shake it up a little bit. So there we are. And first off, the value on the Digital Pro has gone from about 6 to about 300. So it's much more conductive than it was. And if we place the little LED tester in it, the LED lights up. Um, you probably can't see that right here, so let me get up and shut off the light for a second, and we'll see if you can see it on the camera or not. So, so there you can see a very faint yellow light lighting up, and that's because the solution is conductive. Water by itself is not conductive, but when you add ions to it, it is conductive. That allows the electrons to move through the solution. So through movie magic, we have now frozen our water. Basically yesterday I made up these solutions and froze them so I'd have them ready for today. In the one with the digital probe, the solution was reading about 8500 micro s per centimeter yesterday before I froze it. In the second one, the one with the LED conductivity detector, the light did come on, so it was conductive. Now we've taken and we've frozen these overnight so they're good and solid. Uh, let me warn you not to freeze digital probes or probes in water unless you have permission from the owners of the probes, because um, they may damage it. But for the purpose of this, we froze it in water, and now, after letting it sit for a little while, it's reading a value of about 300. So we've gone from a value of about 8,500 down to 300 by freezing the water. So basically, our conductivity has greatly, greatly decreased. In the one with the LED, that LED is not lighting up at all at this point, even though yesterday it was lighting up and brightly. So in both of these measurements, we see we have lost conductivity by freezing the water. Now the way that that occurs is when water freezes, Number one, when it becomes a solid, the ions needed to move for conductivity are being frozen in place and not allowed to move throughout your solution like it will in liquid water. And second, when water freezes, the crystalline structure of water forces impurities out. So these salt impurities that are in there that are allowing the conductivity are being forced out of the structure and therefore not being able to carry the electrons either. So both of these lead to lower conductivity in the values. So, Freezing water greatly decreases the conductivity. Now what I thought I would do is just let this water melt and then we'll see what happens as it melts and hopefully we go back to the original conductivity values as it turns back into the liquid form of water. The ice 
that is with the LED conductivity detector has now pretty much melted. Now that it's melted and turned back to its liquid form, you can see that the LED on top of the conductivity detector has lit up completely. Now that the ice around the digital probe has completely melted, you can see that the conductivity value has moved back up to where it was before freezing at about 9,000. So freezing water greatly decreases the conductivity.